The law of effect is a psychological principle developed by Edward Thorndike in the early 20th century. It states that behaviours followed by positive outcomes are more likely to be repeated, while behaviours followed by negative outcomes are less likely to occur again. Thorndike introduced this concept through his experiments with animals, particularly cats, in puzzle boxes, which demonstrated how rewards and consequences shape behaviour. This principle became a cornerstone of learning theory and laid the foundation for later work in behaviourism and operant conditioning. In essence, the law of effect operates on the idea that behaviour is influenced by its consequences. Positive outcomes, such as rewards or satisfaction, strengthen the association between a behaviour and its result, increasing the likelihood that the behaviour will be repeated. Conversely, negative outcomes, such as discomfort or failure, weaken the association, making the behaviour less likely to reoccur. This principle highlights the role of reinforcement and punishment in learning and behaviour modification. One classic example of the law of effect is Thorndike's experiment with cats. He placed cats in a puzzle box that required them to perform a specific action, such as pulling a lever, to escape and receive food. Over time, the cats learned to repeat the successful actions that led to rewards, demonstrating how positive outcomes reinforce behaviour. Another example is seen in classroom settings. When a student answers a question correctly and receives praise from the teacher, they are more likely to participate in the future. The positive reinforcement of praise strengthens the behaviour of engaging in class. A third example can be found in parenting. When a child completes their chores and is rewarded with extra playtime, they are more likely to complete their chores consistently. This illustrates how rewards can encourage desired behaviours. The law of effect has broad applications in various fields. In education, it informs teaching strategies that use positive reinforcement, such as praise, stickers or privileges, to motivate students. In workplace management, the principle is applied through reward systems like bonuses or recognition to encourage productivity and performance. Behavioural therapy also uses the law of effect by reinforcing positive behaviours and discouraging harmful ones to promote mental health and well-being. One strength of the law of effect is its simplicity and wide applicability. By emphasising the connection between behaviour and consequences, it provides a clear framework for understanding how individuals learn and adapt. This principle is supported by extensive research in psychology and has been successfully applied in areas ranging from education to animal training. Despite its strengths, the law of effect has faced criticism. Some argue that it oversimplifies human behaviour by focusing solely on external consequences and neglecting internal factors, such as motivation, emotions or cognitive processes. Additionally, critics point out that not all behaviours are influenced equally by rewards or punishments, and some may persist even in the absence of reinforcement. Modern theories of learning, such as cognitive and social learning theories, have expanded upon the law of effect by incorporating these additional dimensions.